What's going on YouTube? This is your backyard gardener coming to you with a um, a little update a little sooner than I normally put my videos out. But I'm noticing something in the garden that might be uh, beneficial to you or might help me out because I don't know what's going on. But in my watermelon patch, I noticed the other day that my leaves are starting to yellow. Now, what I did was, the first thing I figured, it might be low on magnesium. So, I did a little Epsom salt water in, a uh, tablespoon Epsom salt gallon of water. Waited a couple of days to see if that helped the problem. It's helping slowly, but still some things going on. The fruit have set, and by the fruit setting... Is pulling nutrients out of your soil. This is mid July. We're going into August. And that's when you really find out what kind of a garden season you have when you start to harvest. Now, the fruit is doing well, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some rabbit manure that I got to my soil. <clears throat> This is the rabbit manure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little starter net cups that we uh, the have. I'm going to punch holes in it because there's already holes in the bottom. And I'm going to bury the net cups. I've buried them like snow inside of my um, soil to give it a slow release instead of just sprinkling them all over. So I got about three net cups in here. That's one. That's one over here. And then I have one uh, somewhere else in here. Uh, the fruit has set beautifully. Um, this one is the size of a softball. And it's sitting in here and it's covered up with the leaves. Um, and I have quite a few back here that I have sitting on a bucket so that there won't be so much stress on the limbs from hanging and I have some on the other side but my point that I'm trying to get across is that now our fruit have set in our garden and the nutrients are being sucked out of the soil because it's being pulled in to produce the fruit and we have to keep replenishing our nutrients back into the soil which is whether you use the organic fertilizer or whatever but you have to find out what your plant needs because your plants will tell you something that's not right um, so I know the watering is good on there but it's something different so we're gonna give it a couple of days and see how that goes down here everything is still looking lush and beautiful actually a little bit better than it was the other day over here is my muskmelons it's doing great this is my first year growing the muskmelons to this level i grew them i, I planted them last year in a, a 10 gallon pot four plants and i got the powdery mildew i've never had them to grow and produce this much like i have them now in this half of a 55 gallon drum so this is really a good thing i mean these things are producing so much <clears throat> they even like i told you growing up my blueberry bush all up in there i can't even untangle them i just let them go um over here they're coming all around the bottom edges and all through here and i'm finally finally starting to see fruit so i have a couple of them that size all through here the bees every day are out here in and out the uh they're starting to um give me the fruits and that's what i've been waiting for over here um with my tomatoes we had some high winds a couple of days so i gotta constantly come out here and stake them up to get them to stand back up uh, i love these three pole trellises that you snap to the levels that you want to snap them to that's really working good for me, post to the traditional tomato uh, trellis. So, things are looking good, but I understand what 
one of the YouTubers and subscribers has said when he said that he likes to hand water his garden. Now, trust me, I'm not leaving my drip irrigation system, but I still come out here and hand water certain plants that's not uh, hooked to the irrigation system. And I'm glad because it gives you a chance to find out and, and, and observe your garden to say, hey, why is this starting to go bad or if it has a disease so you can catch it in time. So I do understand why he said that. Um, and I'm out here every day just walking around observing. You can't just leave it because you never know what type of uh, issue you might have. And you want to catch it as soon as possible. Any type of disease. I've been noticing I'm fighting squirrels. I'm fighting birds. My bell, my uh, sweet banana plants are ready. <clears throat> I found two of them on the ground way over there by my driveway. So they didn't chew on them or eat them, but they're just picking them off for me. So I'm going to start, I'm harvesting them as they go. Um, it's mid-July, going into August. This is the testing time that's going to really tell you how great of a garden season that you're having. That's why when a lot of people come and I say, so far, so good. Because things can turn bad real quick in the garden if you're not paying close attention. You have to, especially being a container garden and a raised bed garden, you have to watch your nutrients and replenish that soil because you don't have a lot of soil. So it's constantly sucking it out as your fruit starts to set we everything's still looking good no complaints but i'm paying very close detail right now because this is the critical time um my belt my uh beats is uh coming along good but then i notice when i come out here something keep trying to dig in here but they're not too much disturbing the root so i'm gonna have to put Maybe a little fence or something up here to uh, discourage whatever is getting in here. Throw it in the uh, compost bin. Also, uh, I planted some um, lettuce and I brought two of my plants outside because they wasn't doing too well inside by the window. So I'm waiting for them to stand up. That's my stevia. And I think the other one is... I know one is stevia, and the other one is my apple mint. So I'm sure these are going to stand up and make a little rest period is over. Um, we got to get out in the garden and start paying attention to what's going on. Uh, we got high winds, we got hot, hot days, and we got to make sure that we're still uh working hard in the garden so that we'll have a nice harvest and that's what i'm doing even on some of the hot days i don't want to come out here i'll let the sun go down or i'll be going somewhere to work and i'll see some of my plants uh drooping especially my uh, bell pepper plants because they didn't dry it out i have to get out here and give them a quick water and i mean it's just like um your children it's like your pets you just can't neglect them you have to pay attention and give them what they need if you want them to produce a good harvest this is your backyard gardener saying happy gardening everybody and thank you to all of my new subscribers i really appreciate you and i pr appreciate the um comments that you all uh, post. So stay positive, everybody. Happy garden.